Hello and welcome to the 5S Voice Method Online Bootcamp. For the next five days, I need you to commit to putting in a minimum of 30 minutes a day to your vocal training. Each day you will work through the videos at your own pace and be challenged with lessons, self-assessments, and practical exercises guaranteed to strengthen each skill set and put the right muscles into practice. Day one, we will look at your support but not just breath support, your mental and body support as well. Strength. Day two, we look at your strength and the best muscles to use to get the most power out of your voice. Space. Space. Day three, we learn about the space needed for optimal sound. Smile. Day four, we will focus on the smile and lifting the voice to increase placement, resonance, and rate. Submit. And day five is all about how to submit to what the voice needs to function at its best. At the end of each day, you will keep track of the exercises that work best for you and map out an exercise plan that you can continue week after week. Support, st strength, space, smile, and submit. These are the five S techniques that will take you to a stronger, healthier, more confident voice. And now it's time to start your 5S voice boot camp. See you on the next video. Hello and welcome to the 5S Voice Method Online Bootcamp. 5S! For the next five days, I need you to commit to putting in a minimum of 30 minutes a day to your vocal training. Each day you will work through the videos at your own pace and be challenged with lessons, self-assessments, and practical exercises guaranteed to strengthen each skill set and put the right muscles into practice. Support. Day one, we will look at your support, but not just breath support, your mental and body support as well. Strength. Day two, we look at your strength and the best muscles to use to get the most power out of your voice. Space. Space. Day three, we learn about the space needed for optimal sound. Smile. Day four, we will focus on the smile and lifting the voice to increase placement, resonance, and rate. Submit. And day five is all about how to submit to what the voice needs to function at its best. At the end of each day, you will keep track of the exercises that work best for you and map out an exercise plan that you can continue week after week. Support, st strength, space, smile, and submit. These are the five S techniques that will take you to a stronger, healthier, more confident voice. And now it's time to start your 5S voice boot camp. See you on the next video. Hello and welcome to the 5S Voice Method Online Boot Camp. 
for the next five days. All right, folks. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, folks. <laughs> Let me get this stop screen. Oh, I got to turn the camera on. There we go. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. Hey, how's everybody doing? It's about five after. We're going to go ahead and get Hi. started as people are coming in. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Anitra. How are you? Welcome. And Chris, how you doing? Um, the Rod is here. Everybody say hi to Rod. Hey, y'all. Hi, Rod. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> Again. <laughs> That's all right. Here. That's all right. So, hey, I was just wanted to come on and talk about uh, the boot camp for a little bit, show you guys uh, what's going on with that. I'm very proud of it. It is um, a, a passion project. And um, I finally got everything up there, the exercises, all of that. So some of you, I know Lisa, you already have, um, uh, you've registered. Uh, so go ahead and get started. You got, you got yeah, I know. To, yeah, go ahead and get started. I'm, I I want to get your feedback as well. Um, oh, I do have this glare coming off of this. Anyway, I'm looking forward to your feedback and what things are working and, and how it's working out for you. Um, and so I'll, I'll show a little bit of the actual page so you guys can see kind of how it's set up and working your way through it. Um, and then you also have the PDF workbooks and then you've got some practice tracks that you can download. So I will uh, share my screen again. Ah, here it is, yes. So this is Teachable. Can you guys see it? This is Teachable and uh, this is the platform that I'm using. And once you go in, it guides you through each one. So it, you, you won't be able to start a new one until you complete um, one, you know, each, uh, each video, each segment. But you can work through it again at your own pace. Um, I have, you know, introduction here and then about the boot camp, which you just saw. And then this is the voice pre-assessment. So Lisa, if you haven't done that already, go ahead and fill that out. That is just, and it just lets me know, you know, what, and this is for everybody, what you're working on, what types of things you want to grow in, um, and, you know, what you want to target with your voice. And um, so I have each one of these videos. We talk about, like I said, support of the mind, support of the body, and you have exercises and then support of the breath. And then you have your exercises there. Uh, this is the workbook. So you have that. You can either, uh, you, are you going to upload? There you go. So <laughs> you have that and you can fill in. Why isn't it loading? Oh, there it is. It's just a little slow. Um, you have it to where it's a fillable PDF, so you can download it and um, talk about, you know, then this is for your own records that you don't have to um, turn any of this into me or anything, but this is for you to kind of analyze um, what your habits are, what, um, what you're working on again, analyzing your posture, do your body assessment, your breath assessment, all of those. So you have uh, PDF workbooks, and then you can download the exercise, I mean, the practice tracks. So I give examples of the exercises, for instance, within the video. In your breath from underneath. <laughs> <laughs> That's one you example. Can change the speed of the breath. Um, and I, I'll give examples of each one of the um, exercises, and I'll do it for a little while, but you'll take that example and then apply it to the practice tracks and, and be able to go through all the modulations um, and, and stretch your voice um, in either direction. Uh, and then we have space. I talk about the anatomy. Be, 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 I talk about the anatomy of the voice and what uh, hemorrhaging, the uh, things that can, the dangers and things that can go on. Um, I give examples, things like that. So space, like I said, is day two. You have your workbook here as well. You can download that, take inventory or do your assessments and keep track of, of what you're doing and keep track of what you're learning as well. 
And then you have even more exercise, I mean, practice tracks on this one as a result of additional exercises for space. Then of course, smile. Are you gonna low? Yeah, Juby. you got that on every time. You get to enjoy the theme song every time. <laughs> so of course you have the smile and going through the lifting of the voice. And I talk about, you know, uh, using this in your, your placement and in your singing. I use it as a teaching tool all the time. Um, it's, it's very big for, um, for classical singers to use that as well. Singing in the mask and forward placement. So I talk about all that and give you examples. I go through examples of placement and range and your resonance. <laughs> so I'm, I'm showing you, you know, how to access that area of your voice. Um, I think, uh, Lisa, I think I had you plug in your nose one time. And so I, I do that exercise as well. Um, so you, I have the exercises here, the workbook, et cetera, and the practice tracks. And then we have submit, which would be the last day. Uh, are you there? Yep. Jubi, jubi, jubi. It, which will be the last day. And I'm, I'm basically talking about your process and, and being prepared and, and how to prepare um, for your performances and for the things that you have going on, what your daily habits are and how to take care of your vocal health, et cetera. Um, and, you know, we, we hear about singers who, uh, I'll go to that really quickly. We hear about singers who go through, you know, vocal um, surgery and hemorrhaging and all these other things. So we want to really go establish a regimen that will protect our voices as we are going through our day to day, as we are, you know, going through our performances, knowing when to rest. Um, and again, just being mindful and uh, aware of what you're feeling in your voices. And the thing that I really want to stress while you're going through, when you start the program and as you're going through the exercises, again, you will, um, you'll have your, here it is, you'll have your workbook where you will set up your practice plan. Come on, come on, download, come on. There it is. So you have your, your exercise log and you'll keep track of the things that uh, the exercises that you, you like the most and that really work for you and input those there. But you really, I, I, I really advise that you go through these exercises week after week for at least six months and really embed them. I wouldn't, I, it's not a, you know, a, a magic potion or it's not a quick fix. These are really, this is really muscle memory and reconditioning your muscles so that when you go to perform and when you go to um, you, uh, uh, use your voices on the public stage, you're not having to think about, am I supporting? Is my posture right? Do I have enough space? You don't even have to think about it. Just like athletes, when they are, uh, when they're doing their drills all throughout the week, they don't want to have to think about dribbling the ball and they don't want to have to think about how they're going to shoot and if they're going to make their shot or, or throw the ball, whatever the sport is when they're in the game. So these are the drills that you will uh, run on a daily basis. You don't, there are some for uh, speakers as well as singers. So there are some that don't require the voice. So uh, I know Lisa, you were saying, you know, how early should you warm up? There are some exercises that you can be doing that do not require you to use your voice, but are building the muscles up so that you can still be supported and open and free when you do go to sing and go to warm up. So keeping those things in mind, just securing it, getting that muscle memory in place and establishing again, a regimen that you can do, especially that you can warm down. I don't know if anybody really talks about warming down after a performance, but that is also very important. So that just like you stretch again, after you work out to kind of loosen the muscles up and, and relax them now, or after the workout, exact same thing. After you finish performing, you want to warm down the voice so the, all the intensity and the energy and the impact has a has a chance to you know relax and and leave your body and then you go to rest your voice so 
just things like that, that I wanted to be able to uh, give to you all. Again, my years of research and study and uh, of, of doing these workshops and, and teaching all different kinds of singers. And it, it really is, I, I'm not really going for, this is how you should sing, this is how you should speak, this is how you should sound. Everyone has their own style. Everyone has you know, their, own, their own avenue and their own uh, outlet. So I wanted to just be able to equip speakers and singers with the tools to be able to do what they're already doing better and to do it uh, long-term, to do it um, without strain, without tension, and without worrying whether or not you'll have the voice to uh, take you to your next engagement or your next uh, performance. So that's what the boot camp looks like. Um, I, I hope, hopefully you all um, will take a look at it and go ahead and, and enroll, tell other folk about it, let them know um, that this is here and this is for everybody. Again, it is self-paced. So you don't have to um, meet me at a certain time and go through a lesson or anything. You can do this on your own time. Uh, you can apply this to anything that you're doing, the, the, the lip trills and the, um, the vowel placement exercises, things like that. So. Like I said, I'm very, very proud of it. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to show you guys really quickly. I think that was pretty much it. But for today's lesson, um, and I don't know if any of you guys wanted to sing. So if you do, just drop it in the chat and Rod will let me know. But for today's lesson, we're going to do some exercises in each of the S's. So with the support exercises, I wanted to do what I call hisses. Well, I don't have to call them hisses. They are hisses. But I wanted to do some hisses and that really works that breath and gets that air feeding through. And whenever I do these, I like to place either my hands at my sides or uh, at my low abdomen on, around uh, underneath my belly button. So I like to feel that area working here so I can feel my lungs expand or I like to feel uh, that pumping from that low abdomen. So with the hisses, I'm gonna give you, we'll hiss, do five hisses and then breathe. So it'll be an inhale. Keep going. And then you can accelerate it. So hopefully you're not getting lightheaded, but if you are, I see you all are sitting. But um, you can, if you can do that, you know, for about three minutes and you can speed up, accelerate, or you can slow down. and focus the energy many times when we're in performance or we're having to use the voice and we're not able to think about our support we start powering the breath from here so really focusing that energy in that low abdomen and working that breath to where you're you're bringing that air up and out instead of pressing the air down and out okay so let's do a couple more of those five hisses in the breath inhale Inhale. Accelerate. Faster. Long hiss. So that worked up a little sweat for me and hopefully it did for you as well. But those are things that you can do. You can be driving, you can be walking to work or whatever, wherever you're going. It does not require, people might give you a weird look like, why are you breathing like that? But um, these are things that I like to do. Um, just, it doesn't require me using my voice. I don't get strained here and um, it just gets my breath moving, all right? Uh, for a strength exercise, I like to do what we call in the classical uh, exercises, mesa di voce. 
uh, but it's basically soft, loud, soft, or you can go loud, soft, loud, and you are controlling the volume, controlling the intensity of the voice with that ab abdomen. So the strength is coming really from the control of the voice, not so much how much power you can put out, but how well you can control what you're putting out. So with the ooh, ah, ooh, I'll find a ooh, we'll be on middle C uh, and for you, Chris Low. Uh, but with a, just a simple, it doesn't have to be a high range. It doesn't have to be low. Um, and it really is, how are you going to control that? Of course, the, the throat is relaxed. The jaw is relaxed. The space is open. And we'll get to that one next. But it is controlling. I start off with ooh as soft. Ooh, and then I crescendo. Again. All that is being controlled right here. Nothing happening here. Even if it's straight tone. Okay, so you can keep doing that. You can modulate. You have you'll have the practice tracks there, so you can work with the practice tracks and take it up. When you get to a certain point where it starts to get tense, that's usually when I. So you can feel those areas where you have the breaks in your voice and you can really work through, create more space when you get to those areas. So you can actually control, you can allow the voice to flow better, but you can still control the breath. All right. So that's our strength exercise. Again, controlling it from that abdomen. Our space exercise, this one is my favorite, is the nose plug. But it, you can take um, a nursery rhyme you can take something that you're speaking. Uh, let's do Mary had a little lamb. And you can take that now. If I plug my nose and my voice is like this, then that lets me know that my soft palate is too low, right? But as soon as I raise the soft palate, still plugging my nose, uh, then the voice clears up and the toe clears up. So Mary had a little lamb might not be good because the M's are going to go... Mm. So the M's and N's get weird uh, when you're doing the nose plug. Um, old McDonald, still an M, whatever. Old McDonald. <laughs> so we'll do Old McDonald had a farm, E I E I O. Old McDonald had a farm, E I E I O. That's a low soft palate. Raise. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a cat, E-I-E-I-O, with a whatever, <laughs> okay? So you can use anything, even as speaking, uh, you can, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Our Father, who art in heaven, my soft palate is low, and I'm not getting good space in my mouth. <laughs> in in the uh in the yeah so in order to lengthen that i just use this as my my space check okay so you can you can use anything yes Anitra, go ahead jump in jump on in what's your question yeah so um i don't know that when i i'm trying to figure out how i know the difference like how how do i how do i take the pedagogical concept into a physical thing because when I did it, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have that. Like I have, to, I have to force myself to do this. Like I don't, I have to force that. I think I, I naturally raise my palate when I do that. So I guess my question is how, is there a way to feel it or do I just need to go by listening? Well, uh, listening as well, but I feel it when I feel a yawn in the back of my mouth. Mm -hmm. So it'll always feel like this open, parachute per se mm. i like to use parachute as an example i and i feel if i were to yawn and then start talking i like to try to feel keep maintain that yawn space in the back of my mouth does that help 
Yeah, a little bit. I just, I think that naturally that happens for me. Okay. And so I'm trying to, I don't know. I'm just, maybe I'm overthinking. Well, yeah, maybe that's just not an area that you have to really work hard on. If it's, if it's already lifted, then great. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah. it. It might be more so the position of the larynx. So let me let me mm. hear uh, you kind of uh, say, my name is Aditra. My name is Aditra. Okay, yeah, so I hear talk, talking. It's worse, but what I'm singing, it's better. And but and that's the thing about what I say in the program, our daily habits, even when we're talking, we want to align them with what we'll need for our voice. So if, if you're talking one way and singing another, which I'm, I'm guilty of as well, it is, it's a hard uh, habit to kind of curb when you're focused on singing. Mm -hmm. But when you're, when you're talking one way and singing another, then the soft palate is, is up and down, up and down, and you're really not training it to stay up no matter what. Mm -hmm. um, and this is just, you know, just the basic fundamentals of a healthy space, whether you're speaking or singing, because we can, I, I get when I'm giving the workshops and I'm not mindful of the space, when I'm talking for an hour and lecturing, I still get tired. I still get fatigued. So that was really what put me on the path to, okay, I have to really start focusing as a singer, even when I'm speaking. So it, it's no different. It's still the voice. It's still healthy space. It's still, you know, what's going to help you sustain uh, in, in the long run. So if we're not jerking the palate back and forth. Well, I'm not singing, so I don't need to raise the palate. Well, no, no, nobody says you have to talk like this all the time. It's really not that extreme, <laughs> but it is just, <laughs> it's really, again, to train that muscle and to, um, to, to put habits in place that will preserve the voice. Because if you come off stage and then you, everybody's talking to you and you're, you, uh, yeah, you're, or you're talking in between sets, or you're having to give an interview before you sing, that stuff can take away from, uh, you know, uh, your vocal preparation or when it is time to sing. Mm -hmm. So just things to be mindful of. So yeah, I, I would say work on training it in your speaking, as opposed to, you know, if you already have it lifted when you're singing, awesome. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, I hate when Rush Trial pulls my nose, so I'm really not <laughs> excited about this exercise, but... <laughs> Okay. Well, it, it, then, then the, um, and again, this is, that's just my check. The yawn space, it usually works better for my students. So it just, it's, I, I give you plenty to work with in the, uh, in the program. So yeah, just figure out which one you like the best. That's why I said, you don't have to do this one. Just take down the ones you like the best and then go from there. Lisa, you had your, you wanted to raise your hand? Yeah. I just want to ask, um, Okay, if you raise your soft palate up, and then does it also help that you bring your tongue down, like inside? The or tongue position really depends on what you're saying. So the tongue is used to articulate. And if I'm articulating an E vowel, my tongue will be arched and higher. If I'm articulating an A vowel, my tongue will be lower. But if my tongue is tight, and rigid, no matter with if it's high or low, it's going to start to choke me. So oh. it's really not the tongue has to be flat. The tongue has to be, it, a lot of teachers teach the tongue has to be behind the bottom teeth. But if you hold the tongue there, this is what you sound like when you talk. Yeah. So it doesn't really help to hold the tongue there when you sing because then it, it, it forces it in one position. So it is about the flexibility and finding the balance. When I'm singing, um, an e vowel, and if I'm in my lower register, e, e, my tongue may not be as high as e, as when I'm up there. But I know, yeah, I know I need to feel the flexibility and make sure my tongue is relaxed. E, That I, I just focus on keeping it relaxed and it will go where it needs to for, because I've trained it for the correct, you know, vowel position. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. If you hold it in one place, it's going to be difficult to, to say your words. And, and with the kind of work you do, I imagine you have to be understood. <laughs> your words yeah. need to be understood. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. Thank All you. right. No problem. No problem. You guys jump in with questions. It's just us. Um, and I, let's, let's go on to the smile exercise. This one gets obnoxious. So I'm going to sit back. 
from the microphone. And this is on the video as well. This is when you when you're teasing someone and nay 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 nah 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 nah. Um, I really try to make sure you'll see a lot of lift in my cheeks, but I really try to make sure my voice is very Fran Drescher like. I don't know if you've seen Fran Drescher, which is very pointed. I don't even want to say pinched, but very pointed and just slamming into the mask. So here's nay nay nay. I can do it lower. Nay, 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 nay. Even lower. Nay, 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 nay. So all throughout my range, I really work on the smile and keeping the voice right behind the, the eyes or into the mask. Nay. nay. Oh, that didn't work. Let me do it again. <laughs> nay. And the reason, Lisa, that didn't work for me that time is because my tongue got tight as I went up. So the second time I said, okay, I got to make sure my tongue is relaxed so that I can go through that smoothly. All right. So just right there. And sometimes I have my students talk like this to get used to that sensation. And it's not, I'm not squeezing here. I'm more lifting and pressing forward into, uh, again, the mask or right here. Okay. So I, um, when I'm doing that, nay, 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 you might be able to feel some vibration right there. Nay, 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 nay. And the more obnoxious I can make it, the more present and the more resonant my voice can be. So when I'm going, and. Whatever you're doing, if you're going to belt, I yeah, just try to make sure it's right there. So I would have my students practice na 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 to put it in that I space. Okay, yeah. So when you're going to do something and add more power, and it needs to be more of a belt, right here, bop. All right. <laughs> Uh, and then the last one would be our submit exercise. And this is where I um, have my students and I myself practice my words on the vowels. So again, let's go back to Mary had a little lamb. So instead of Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb, it would be and doing the whole thing, a lot of times you got to slow down. I'm, I've been doing this for years. So a lot of times you have to slow down so that you can remember, okay, what vowel is coming next? And then you can really work at connecting the breath, connecting the legato in the tone or the smoothness in the connection of the voice. Um, you're preparing the vowel space. So when you go to sing, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. So my mouth is already in a position of where what I need for the voice to flow freely. So whatever song you're doing, whatever text you're speaking, I recommend you take some time and uh, do it slowly. Um, go through it slowly where you're just doing the vows of the words. And if you feel yourself tightening or if you're not providing enough air for the tone, then you have a chance to really dissect and, and focus the tone and focus what you need to get through um, to get through the vows. Because the vows is what we sing on, okay? Uh, that's what projects the voice. That what, that's what carries the sound. So being able to hone in on what that needs to feel like exactly what that needs to feel like and how we can best project the sound without mary had a little lamb that gets tiring you know so if you've already have the space you need for the vowel right between here mary had a little lamb then you're not you're not straining yourself so much to get each word out okay and then it should flow much easier so that's a handful of exercises 
I wanted to give you guys today. Um, and again, there's tons more in the um, boot camp. So I hope you guys check it out. Uh, and Lisa, go ahead and get started. Robrett, you too, go ahead and get started. <laughs> um, and if, again, if you want to sing for today, um, just let did anybody drop anything in the chat. Yes, Lisa wants to sing. Come on, um, Lisa. You just said maybe. Maybe, it's all right. It just, it just let me know, we've got time. All right, Lisa, what would you like to sing? Uh, yeah, um, I'm going to try this song by Etta James. Um, I just want to make love to you. That's uh, I like that song very much. Yeah, I love energy, but I'll see. Okay, um, so it goes like this I don't want you to be no slave, I don't want you to work all day, but I want you to be true. And I just want to make love to you, make love to you, ooh, love to you. And I can tell by the way you walk that walk, and I can hear by the way you talk that talk, and I can know by the way you Treat your girl that I could give you all the loving in the whole wide world. All I want to do is bake your bread just to make sure the child will fed. I don't want you sad and blue, and I just want to make love to you. Yeah. So Hey, I Thanks. felt that. <laughs> All right. So how does that feel for you? Does it feel um does it feel like it's flowing easily or is there some some heaviness going on? There's when I go like um and I, all I want to do is go get bread. Um it somehow feels a little bit tight. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm I don't know what to do. <laughs> all right. So I, right there I would recommend the nay nay placement nay, nay. instead of okay. and i so you can try that not na 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 try that right in there na, 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 na. Is it uh -huh. even more right? yeah even more na, na, na. Na, you want na, na. how's that feel okay. yeah it's it, it felt better better um, better so i do that a couple times na 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 go through the whole phrase of that all, all right. on na na oh Keep going. I, I, na, na, na. Okay. Uh, oh, na, okay. Na, no, no, no. Go back to na, na, na. I want you to go through the whole right. phrase. Na, na, all I want to do is make love to you. Come all the way down on the na, na, na. Okay. Um, na, 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 na. Na, smooth it out. Na, 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 na. Na 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 That's it. That's it. Na 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 na. Yes. Oh, there. Yeah. Now let me hear it on the words and make it feel. You're thinking na na, and sing the words. And I just wanna make love to you. How's that feel? Yeah, it felt better. I, and it sounded smoother, yeah. more connected. I know. Like it was oh, the same you. person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in the lower register, practice getting that na-na so you can get the uh, voice uh, more into the mass. So it's not so, it doesn't start to sound hollow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. mm, it was something else. Doggone it. Do the, uh, the wah, da, da. it was the middle part. And I can tell by the way that one. Yes. Part. Yes. yes. Try that. Try that part okay. and be thinking na, na, na. Okay. And I can tell by the way you walk that walk. And I can tell by the way you talk that talk. And oh, I this can is the know. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Put your hand back here. 
you're right. giving me a lot of this uh, okay. and the 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 shape of the voice is you're steady doing that to the shape uh, of the voice right. instead of letting it flow so put your hand right here and just make sure you're keeping that relaxed you don't have to do any work here all the all work right. is here and right here let, let me try mm -hmm. and i can tell by the way you walk that walk and i can tell by the way you talk that talk and i can know by the way you treat your girl that i can give you all the love and in the whole wide world oh it's so different <laughs> yes we I want balance we want me. freedom yes because you got the voice you got the chops but if you're driving it and you're not approaching things to or if you're you're bringing the chest voice too high or if you're feeling strain and tension it's just that wear and tear is just going to get worse and worse over time so those types of things be mindful of the space mindful of that uh, that approach and that placement so that you don't feel the weight of the voice it's going to do what it needs to do as long as, as long as you think the pitch you provide the breath and provide the space for it to come out it will do what it needs to do we just have to put the parts in place and then trust it that's the submit part <laughs> well, thank you i'm so happy <laughs> awesome thank you yeah you sound great you sound and thanks for staying up Thank you. With us again. <laughs> All right. How about you, Anitra? You change your mind? So I there's a part um, of a song that I need to be able to sing. I know that I can power through it. I don't mm -hmm. want to have to do that all the time. Mm -hmm. And there's um, E flat, F4, right yeah. about that range. It's a break for me but I don't know why. You're, cause um, you're a soprano. That's a break for, yeah. Okay. Every, we all have breaks in right. our voice. Um, yeah, but above, I'm like, my my range goes above that significantly. Mm -hmm. um, so if I can explain, I'm giving away all my stuff. <laughs> so I registered for the class already, <laughs> <Okay>. so. <laughs> but as you are, uh, there's just shifts in the voice. So you know, and you're in the car and the car shifts gears, okay? okay? When you're in an automatic vehicle, you don't feel the shifting. You don't feel the shift from first to second gear. Um, but when you're in a, a manual, you can feel the shift. The same thing is happening in the voice. When you're going from low up, you got a break in between the low and mid register. And then you have a break between the mid and upper register. So our goal is to make it sound like an automatic shift. Mm -hmm. to where you just don't hear it. It's still there, it's still shifting, but we're creating the space, we're creating enough airflow and speed so that you just don't hear it. Uh... Ah, you heard mine because my tongue got tight, but it was towards that top. But my break is in the exact same area. And that's why being mindful of where your breaks are, you, you would choose, um, the songs or choose the the keys better for your songs because if that song is sitting in that e na, 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 it's it's sitting in the break so your voice is like do i shift gears what do i do so it's it's kind of getting around that so uh -huh. anyway uh go ahead and sing and then we'll work through the shifts okay um hmm. i don't want to sing the whole thing because it's pretty long let me figure out okay. where i'm gonna start um Uh, whew. got my house, it still keep the cold out, got my chair when my body can't hold out, got my hands doing good like they supposed to, showing my heart to the folks that I'm close to. Got my eyes, though they don't see us part now. They see more about how things really are now. It's that section right there that is. Yeah. It's, yeah. 
because yeah. everything after that is above it everything before that is below it and it's mm-hmm. just, yeah that part right there all right so that's around your Thank mid you, voice break yeah that was i agree that was and i love that piece um and she's starting in aren't you on the floor at this point too um Depends on the version you're watching, but yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I remember watching Cynthia uh, talk about that. That's a very taxing part. So um, one thing, I know you started right there, but one thing I want you to be mindful of in the whole thing is preserving your energy so that you don't give out too much in that right. lower part and that you're, you're, you're not on a hundred on this part so that you have somewhere to go in the, um, the ultimate um, peak. Right. But anyway, um, right in here, you, you've got the lift. I can tell your soft palate is raised as well. I feel like your tongue might be pressing down and back, which might be causing pressure on, on the throat. Okay. And then, um, I'm not sure if you're kind of applying pressure from here or from the part of your abdomen below the belly button. Um, so you might want to, I don't want you to having to do too much, but um, go ahead and put your hands down by the uh, belly button and allow that muscle to start the breath. Because if it's got my, then that air, it's starting here and you've got way more air pressure than you you can balance um, uh, to be able to keep it smooth. Okay. Got my, got my, it kind of comes up and out <laughs> like that. Um Ah, let's let's do let's do just the vowels. Ah, my, ah, I, I don't know the words. Sorry, that's okay. Um, ah, he, 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 ha, ha, ha. okay. So you see how much work you're having to do just for that one phrase. Let's try to make it smooth. Ah, he, oh, ah. And be Part of that ready be for to the, think about the vows. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's a rough exercise. And then as you do it right now, but be ready for the vow before you get there and be ready for the upper pitch before you get there. Go ahead. Uh, 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 mm-hmm. That's all right. Wrong word. Yeah, oh, uh, let's, do, uh, let's do it all on E. That okay. might be easier for now. And then you'll have more time to work through. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you gave me the opera E. Go ahead and give me I. All right. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> give me I. Uh, 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 all right, I'm seeing a lot of ah. Uh, uh, uh. There's a lot of work happening here. So I'm gonna tell you to do the same thing I told Lisa. Put your hand right there. And let's keep let's keep the voice smooth. You don't have to ah. Uh, uh, you don't have to articulate each note. Make it all one note that just happens to move. So when you go up in that break, instead of coming this way, come this way. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh-huh. Um. <laughs> all right right there i know you're you're in a you're gonna have to get that larynx down more right here Ah, it said, oh, you're trying to make it round and rich and that's not gonna work for this this piece. Um, did that help a little bit having your hand back there? Yeah. Yeah, because you, you weren't working so hard here. So if we can eliminate the external work and really work the breath, uh, you're gonna have to apply more air to get up over that hump. Ah, mm. I mean, you got to rev on the gas. You're kind of coming off the gas. I need you to rev on it. And that's just with the breath. Can you do that part again? Hand right here. 
on vowels or on words? On an A. Okay. Starting from that, going right into that I note? If you can. Uh -huh. <sighs> Try that again. You immediately <clears throat> went, watch me. You you felt it, didn't you? You immediately yeah. went, ah! You immediately started gripping there. And this, uh, when, you, when you see in the uh, the videos, but all of this needs to stay squishy because there's, there's um, resonating chambers back here. And if we stiffen this, it won't resonate the way we need to, okay? It won't flow the way we need to. So it's really about keeping that relaxed. Uh, I noticed for you right now, go ahead. Huh? <laughs> you felt that. Yeah, yeah. You want to do it again? Uh, yeah, sure. One more again. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'd say don't do words for a while. I don't know when you have to perform this, but all this week, I'd say just practice that on an I, that I. Um, or fine in, in the lower pitches, you might have a vowel, but I would say ah, cause this style piece has to stay forward, um, which you have, but you're you're controlling too much back here that's pulling the sound down. Um, but that was it. And then once you get used to that placement, then go back and add the words, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank all, you. All right, thank you. thank you, thank you. All right, any other questions, anyone else? I don't see the chat. I'm not looking in the chat. Sorry, y'all. Okay, I didn't miss any anything. Singers. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, then I'm going to play the uh, <laughs> promo video again that we're working on. I'm still tweaking it, but um, just so you can again, if you missed, um, if you missed some of that and me explaining what's going on in the days, I'll play that again as we uh, check out. If you don't have any other questions. Let me see if I can go right to this right quick. Here we go. All right. I appreciate you guys. Um, and it just <laughs> next time. Oh, let me tell you. Next time you can bring a friend. You can let people know. You can share the link with people that you trust. Um, I'm, I'm nervous about sharing it, you know, on social media without... Uh, I don't know who might come in. So, you know, she, go ahead and share it with somebody you know that uh, you think would benefit from this. And um, again, just just spreading the word and generating more. Um, Rod, if you, oh no, everybody's a part of the 5S fam. So I don't have, we don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to play the thing. And I if there's have, nothing else, huh? I did have one more question. Yeah. Um, at what age would you recommend starting this? And I'm asking because my daughter is a music theater major. Mm -hmm. um, and so she's, you know, she's been training for musical theater. Um, all of her vocal training has been in school. It's been very choral. Um, and so trying now to add the, the musical theater pedagogy mm -hmm. um, and just wondering at what age would you recommend? You could start at 13. You can start, you know, and, and even really before that, but with the individual, unless they're really gifted, uh, it's kind of hard to get them to focus. But at around 13, when their bodies are starting to, I won't say settle, but, you know, they're growing into their bodies. But I think it's good for them to get used to what that breath feels like. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I wouldn't push the voice so much, but just laying down those fundament, fundamentals. I got mine through Coral. I didn't have individual lessons until I got to college. Is she in college yet or she's in high no, school? No, no, she's a sophomore in high school. She's oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, I mean, and these, if she does this program, these are just, you know, general exercises. They're not too strenuous. And again, it's about that muscle memory. So when she goes to produce a more, um, a more intense tone, then she's training those muscles to stay there underneath that. Um, and in musical theater, there's a slightly different approach where the breath is slightly higher. Um, so getting, being able to balance that out and knowing where to pull that power from more so from the back than that abdomen. Um, so in being able to feel, but if she knows what 
her breast needs to feel like right. when it's coming out, then she can make the necessary adjustments when she has to dance, et cetera. So I really talk about just balancing the breath. It's not, it has to be here. It has to be here. It, you fill up the lungs and you balance the support so that the air is flowing freely. So you really go off of, you gauge it off of how the air is flowing rather than can I make this sound or that sound, or is it all in my belly or is it all in my back? So, um, it, it, it can lay a good foundation for, um, younger singers. A absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yes, Lisa. Sorry, I had to ask, um, um, regarding the bootcamp, the five S bootcamp, um, do I have to do like, like master, support first for a few weeks and then go to the next or can i do it like this for example every monday i go support and then tuesday i go um strength mm -hmm. and every week like you could I yes yeah you could um and and the way i have it set up because there's still a limited time that you would have access it's not you don't have access forever so if you go through the whole thing within that first week, pull the exercises, and then the next week you say, okay, Monday I'm working my support, Tuesday I'm working my, and that's yeah. another reason why I had it in five days as well, uh, so that you can establish that, um, that practice. Or you could say Monday, um, I'll do one support, one strength, one smile, and then Tuesday, I'll do support, smile, space, or, you know, you could really um, change it up. I recommend you doing between um, 15 and 30 minutes of just drills um, when right. you start to do your regimen. So it'll take you 30 minutes to go through each of the uh, videos for each day, but to do about 15, a minimum of 15 minutes of drills um, of within that uh, context, excuse me. So week one, yeah, 15 minutes of support drills on day one, 15 minutes of space drills, strength drills, et cetera. Or you can combine it and, you know, practice three times a week and practice for maybe 45 minutes and put it all together. So it, it, it really is, um, I didn't want to prescribe, you have to practice an hour a day. I don't have time to practice an hour a day. <laughs> I have to, you know, between work and my son and, and all my teaching and everything, I have to break up. If I do get an hour, um, I have to break it up. So what can you do in 15 minutes, run some drills, and then maybe later on in the day when you have some time, then you practice your songs or you practice your music. So um, working through, and that was another reason why I really wanted some feedback. So you can say, I really like these exercises. Should I work them on these days? How can I put this plan together? So I'll still be working with you in the 5S group. Um, and you can ask any questions in there if you want suggestions on how to layer the exercises so that you can get the most out of it that, that fits with your schedule. I'm still here for you. So it's not like you get in the boot camp and then I go away. You, <laughs> you still got access to me. Yeah. <laughs> It really helped that I, I attended this class because I I was having a hard time with the his uh, exercise, mm -hmm. um, and only because I forgot to use the proper breathing or mm -hmm. um, to use my lower abdomen for breathing. Yeah. And now, um, as I attended this today, it helped me a lot because I I, I now understand, of course. I really have to use my abdomen, my lower abdomen for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you'll, you'll make adjustments as, you know, as you're singing things, you may not need as much abdominal support, but it really is, again, training that muscle to engage and react without you having to think about it. So that when you know I need more power, that abdomen comes into play right away. Okay. All right. You all be blessed. Thank you again for coming again. Tell a friend, uh, Robert, I understand. Just take your time and, and get through the program. I wanted, I want you to be of a clear head when you're going through the program. So, uh, take your time and, you know, do what you need to do. Hopefully you'll get to it, uh, in the next week or so. So, all right. If there's nothing else, I appreciate it. Support, support,
Hello, and welcome to the 5S Voice Method Online Boot Camp. 5S! For the next five days, I need you to commit to putting in a minimum of 30 minutes a day to your vocal training. Each day, you will work through the videos at your own pace and be challenged with lessons, self-assessments, and practical exercises guaranteed to strengthen each skill set and put the right muscles into practice. Day one, we will look at your support, but not just breath support, your mental and body support as well. Day two, we look at your strength and the best muscles to use to get the most power out of your voice. Space. Day three, we learn about the space needed for optimal sound. Smile. Day four, we will focus on the smile and lifting the voice to increase placement, resonance, and rage. And day five is all about how to submit to what the voice needs to function at its best. At the end of each day, you will keep track of the exercises that work best for you and map out an exercise plan that you can continue week after week. Support, st strength, space, smile, and submit. These are the five S techniques that will take you to a stronger, healthier, more confident voice. And now it's time to start your 5S voice boot camp. See you on the next video.